question could be a very long, I've got 15 questions, if I can get them all answered, I'll, be, I'll feel sad, you know, just great. The first one is very basic, and what is Krishna consciousness? Krishna means God, and we are all connected with Krishna, God. God is the original Father. We have got intimate connection in Krishna. So we have forgotten it. What is Krishna? What is my connection with there? What is the aim of life? All these questions there are. And when one becomes interested in such questions, he is called Krishna. How did uh, Krishna consciousness develop? Krishna consciousness is already there in everyone's core of heart. But due to one's uh, material condition of life, he has forgotten. So this process of chanting, Hare Krishna Mahavatra to revive the world. We are already there. Just like <coughs> two days ago, these American, European boys and girls, they did not know uh, who is Krishna. But now you have seen yesterday how they are whole procession, throughout the whole procession, now they are chanting and dancing in ecstasy. So do you think that is artificial? No. Artificially nobody can chant and chant for hours together. That means they have to be a It was there by the one of my process, it is not private. That is explained. Nitta Siddha Krishna Bhakti Shakta Bhagavan. Sabunadi Siddha Siddha Kavai Yudam. The consciousness is dominant in everyone's mind. So when it comes in contact, with the world is, that is our dispatch uh, to be attracted by a young girl or young boy. Uh, it is there, with the child, the small child is there. And when he will be young, then he will have the contact attributions. So, association, it is having the potency is there already. But in good association, by hearing about Krishna, one is held to the status of Krishna. What is the difference between Krishna consciousness and Christ consciousness? As consciousness, you have Krishna consciousness. But uh, people do not follow uh, the rules and regulations of Christianity. Therefore, they are not having the commandment of Christ. They do not follow. Therefore, they do not come to the standard of all 
what is unique about Krishna consciousness that separates it from other religions? Is it a religion? Maybe I mean, I want to know God and love him. That is the name. And nobody knows God and what to speak of love. Nobody is trained how to know God and how to love him. They are satisfied by going to the child. Oh God, give us our daily bread. That also not everyone knows. Uh, the communist says that you don't go to the church, bread is your supper. So poor innocent persons, they get bread up elsewhere, they do not go to church. But nobody is serious to understand what is God. Uh, how to learn. No. Therefore, uh, in Bhagavatam it is said, it is cheating me. I profess some religion, but I do not know what is God or how to learn. So that type of religion is cheating. The religion means to know God and love. But generally a man does not know what is God and what to speak of love is. The level that is cheating. So far this generally an instant. They have to charge of understanding God. But they do not care for it. Take for example, the commandment is thou shalt not kill. Christian world, best slaughterhouses are there. So how they can be done? They disobey the government. Do not care what Jesus called or Jesus Christ is called. But this is not only a Christian religion, every religion is good. Simply Roman style. And Hindu. And none of them do know what is God and I do not. How does one know a bona fide spiritual master then that can lead them? He teaches this thing how to know God and how to love His will. I don't know, bogus. <laughs> Rascal bogus. <coughs> Sometimes. They mislead the time for poor people. They do not know what is God. And they ask them to propose the time for And they accept it. Just like in your country, they elected Nixon president. And again, really, that means they did not know who is really bona fide president. He elected somebody. And again, they are the business dragging up. Similarly, uh, people are foolish. Any rascal comes, he says, I am God. They accept. And again, they accept another. This is why. So, one must be serious to them to understand what is God and what is God. How to love Him, that is. Other activities should be waste of time. That we are teaching. That is different between others. We are present in Krishna, the Supreme Perspective of others. The science, how to know him, to know what we are doing, and how we are doing. Not both as right. Therefore, this is not the institution. Which can teach how to know God and how to learn. Two, there's no It is not our business to ask God to give us our necessity. 
to know what gives necessities to everyone, even one who has no religion, they are cats and dogs, they have no religion. They do not know what it is. But still, the cats and dogs are supplied with necessities of life. So why should we bother to stop asking him, did I give us our journey then? He supplies energy. Our business is how to love. Our energy. Dhamma pranchita hoitava hapta paramane nasara nasara pasro hapta hapta Sarvai bhumsaṁ paro dharma, sarvai bhumsaṁ paro That is first class in India, this teacher, how to love God. And that love, not for any material motive, but you will give me this, then I will love. Love means without any personal problem. If I love God for some profit, then it is not love. Ahoyu, aprathiyata, and such love of God cannot be checked by any material form. In any condition, one can love how to love. It is not conditional that I am poor man. How shall I love God? I have got so many things. No, it is not that. Poor, rich, or young, or old, black, and white. There is no impediment. If one wants to love God, he can love Are there different paths uh, that one can learn to love, no. love God? No. I mean, are there other spiritual paths? Do all spiritual paths lead to the same end? The third part is divided into four. Not spiritual, real spiritual, mixed spiritual. Just like this, God gives us our daily bread. It is mixed spiritual. One who approaches God, God is spiritual, but one is asking for material problems. So this is mixture, matter and So there are four classes, generally known as karmi, fruity matter. They work for getting some material problem. They are called karmi. Just like all men, you see, they are working so hard day and night. Driving their car, the first part is how to get money. This is Kalkarmi. And then Gyani. Gyani means he knows that I am working so hard, why? The birds, bees, the elephants, the big big. Eight million different types of they are not, they have no business, they have no profession. How they are eating. So why unnecessarily I work so much? Let me know what is the problem of life. So they understand the problem of life is birth, death, old age and disease. And they want to solve how to become immortal. So they have a good chance that if I merge into God's existence, then I become immortal. I'm immune from birth, death, old age, and disease. This is called Vyani. And some of the yogis, they uh, try to acquire some spiritual power to make a show how we can play one night. 
yogi can become very small. If you put him in a room, he'll come up. He'll lock it. He'll come up. If there is little space, he'll come up. That is called anima. He can fly in the sky, float in the sky. That is called lagima. In this way, if somebody can show this magic, then immediately he is accepted. It is very wonderful. The yogi is the modern yogis, they simply show some gymnastics. If they have no power. So I am not speaking of this bad class yogis. Real yogi means he has got some power, that is material power. So yogis also want his power. And gyanis also. One salvation from the unnecessary working like ass, the kurmi. And kurmi is one material property. So they want everyone. So bhakta, the body, they don't want it. They want to serve out of love. Just like a mother loves a child, there is no question of love. Out of affection, she loves. So when you come to that state, to love God, that is the So these different uh, processes, karmi, jnani, yogi, and bhakta, out of these four processes, if you want to know God, then you have to accept the bhakta. That is, stated in Bhagavad-gītā, Simply through the process of bhakti one can understand bhakti. He never says by other bhakti. So if you are interested to know God and love Him, then you have to accept the devotion of God. What are the methods used in attaining Krishna consciousness? How does one get to? Yeah, by Krishna um, consciousness, you achieve the goal of life. In the present condition, we are accepting one body and we are dying after two days. We are accepting another body. Uh, that body is according to your activity. There are eight million four hundred thousand different types of body. You can get any one of them, you have to accept one body. That is called time starts migration on this way. So if one is under this consciousness that I am eternal. Why I am changing the body? How to solve it? That is interesting. And not to work like cats and dogs and dogs. One who makes solution of this problem is interesting. So, therefore, this Krishna consciousness movement is the ultimate solution of all problems. Uh, what transformations uh, does one undergo on the path of No transformation. The consciousness is there. It is now filled with or ravishing. You have to clean it and then to some consciousness. Just like water. Water is by nature clear, transparent. But when it is filled up with ravish things, it is muddy. You cannot see very clearly. But if you filter it or muddy things, that is the energy that comes to the original clear transfer.
Does one function better in society as a result of affiliation with Krishna consciousness? Does one function in society better after being Krishna conscious? Is he a better citizen? Is he a better citizen? And also sociologically or, or you know, can, can he work better in the community? They are not drunkards. They are not meeting from physiological uh, point of view. They are very clean. They never do that. So, how many diseases? Then they do not eat meat. Means that it must seem to kill others for the satisfaction of the tongue. God has given to the human society so many things to eat nice fruits, nice flowers, nice grains, first class meat, and from milk it can be bad, and milk now. Meat deserves food. But they do not know the art. They are maintaining big, big slaughter house and eating meat. No discrimination. That means they are not even civilized. When man is not civilized, he kills one animal and he Because he does not know how to grow food. It's like we have got one farm. Then they would love. So we are preparing so first class preparation from milk. They never ask, they come, they are astonished. But from milk, such nice preparation. Hundreds. So that means they are not even civilized. How to prepare nutritious food from milk? Mill, accepting that cow, flesh, and blood is very increasable. That we all admit. But a civilized man utilizes the blood and meat in a different way. The milk is nothing but blood. But it is transformed into milk. And again from me, you met so many things, you met the bird, you met uh, car, you met he, so many things. And combination of this in product with grain, with fruits and vegetables, similar hundreds of people. So this is civilized. Not that directly kill one animal and that is unsimplified. You take the accepting that cows, flesh, and blood is very nutritious. Take it in a civilized way. Why you should kill the innocent animal that is simply eating grass given by God and supplying meat? And from milk it can be. And the gratefulness is that what is called? Is that civilization? What do you say? Is that civilization? No, I, I, I agree with you 100%. I want you to say these things, though, instead of me. I'm asking you questions so that hopefully that, that not by me um, describing anything, just oh, a short question. Inside. Uncivilized way of life and what they will understand God. I'm asking these questions for everyone that feel that's in that is not understanding. To understand God means one must be first class civilization. Just like university is meant for first class students. Similarly, God consciousness means 
went for the first class payment. Okay, this, this question is a hard one for me to ask because um, it shows ignorance on my part, but I, um, I'm not asking it in ignorance. I want your answer on tape, okay? Uh, does your desire, does all desire ultimately have to go, including the desire to attain Krishna consciousness? Without Krishna consciousness, we will absolutely ravish and when you are Krishna conscious, then you desire gratitude. The aim of many spiritual paths is to find the guru within. Within? The guru within. Is this different than... Who said that to find the guru within? Um, Careful Singh is Pardon me? Yeah, Careful Singh is one that says I know there. Krishna. Hmm? Krishna Marti says that also. Oh, why does he come to teach? <laughs> 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 These things are spoken by rascals. He has come to teach, and he says, I know who he is. So why you have come to teach? <laughs> because people are not intelligent. They cannot catch him. He talks on nonsense, and they hear. That's <coughs> he also has written a book about no books are needed. <laughs> <laughs> You can find out how that's going. Is it not? We admit on that. He writes book and he says there is no need of it. He has right. come to teach and he says there is no need of teacher. Teacher is it. Is he not a rascal? Well, they say the, those people. First of all, he answers my question. Oh. <laughs> he, he says contradictory things. Is he not a rascal? Well, he's, he's contradicting himself. <laughs> Can the Vedas be taken symbolically as well as literally? As it is. We are presenting Bhagavad Gita as it is, not symbolically. Are you um, attempting to revive in the. I, I'm, I've got a. I feel like asking this question two different ways. Um, first, I'll ask it one way, which is in a sense incorrect. Maybe I'll just ask it this way, just get your answer. Are you attempting to revive in the West the awareness of, oh, are you attempting to revive in, uh, attempting to revive the ancient Indian caste system in the West? I'm asking a question, I, a question that I know is incorrect. We are reviving caste system. What do you find, first of all, why you are asking this question? If you have seen that we are trying to introduce the Indian class system, then you say, but if there is no such attempt, why you are asking this question? Well, because a lot of people are interested. And the reason, the well, way I would have asked the question. People, you are also out of the question. So, where I'm, do you find that we are trying to introduce class system? First of all, find out where is the attempt. Then you ask us. Otherwise, it is irrelevant question. The, the uh, Gita talks about the caste system. Huh? The Gita mentions the caste system. Gita, what mentions? You know? The four castes. What is and, that? And then the untouchable castes. On the basis of what? I can't locate it directly, but. Um, the um, from Brahma uh, class, I mean, uh, from class of Brahma. Who has said, who has said that this is caste? This is caste, not caste. Chakrapalla Maya Sushtam Guna Karma Vivaha. 
according to quality and according to work. <coughs> there are four divisions somewhere. Just like you can understand, there are engineers and there are medical practitioners. Do you train them as caste? Oh, he is engineer caste. He is medical caste. Do you say that? I, I don't want to say what I feel because I'm I'm in accord with you. I'm in accord with you. you. <laughs> well, I don't, I think there's always been caste. It's just that we don't recognize the fact that they're there. Uh, you can make me. If a man is qualified, medical man, we accept him. And if a man is qualified in India, he accepts him. Similarly, Bhagavad Gita suggests, not suggest, it is there. There are four classes of men. The most intelligent class of men, the administrator class of men, the productive class of men, and ordinary ones. It is already there. Bhagavad Gita says how they should be classified. That he belongs to this class, he belongs to that class. That is describing the world. Not that by part hereditary one becomes a caste. Don't try to misunderstand. The classification is already there. One class of men is very intelligent. <coughs> we are there in the human society. Uh, do you think all men are equally intelligent? Do you think? There must be. Uh, one class, very highly intelligent. So, what are the symptoms of the intelligent class? That is this class. First class intelligent, man. Is he who can control his mind, who can control his senses, is very truthful, very clean, very simple, very tolerant, very advanced in knowledge, practical application of knowledge in life, and strong faith in God. This is what comes. So it is not within India, wherever you find all this quality, it's a class. So we are trying to introduce this, that without first-class man, the society is useless. So, so there are first-class men, the tenor. How do you feel about women's lives? <laughs> Do you want to bring out about the women's liberation? Is our feeling about women? And I don't want to discuss with God. <laughs> as you have asked, I may explain that how foolish women are being cheated by the intelligent man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they are giving in your country, they are giving you reward. Liberty means equal rights, is it not? Man and woman have got equal rights. They're trying. Huh? They're trying in this country. <laughs> All right, try. But you know, Woman, you cannot see that this uh, so-called equal right means cheating the woman. Now I say more clearly that a woman and man meets. Now they become lover. Then they have sex, and the woman becomes pregnant, and the man goes up. Uh, the simple woman 
he has to take, she has to take charge of the child and bring from government arms to give you money. This is your independence. You me? This is independence. That the man makes the woman pregnant and he goes out without any sponsor. And the woman cannot give up the child. He maintains, she maintains begging from the God. Or she tries to kill the child. Do you think it is very good independence? What is your answer? To memorize the particular child? Yes, yeah, exactly. About that. Do you think the woman has that kind of independence? For the child? For the woman. 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 the so is that good or bad? Well, she, she has made a choice. That, means, that is 34 hours. You have made your choice to kill your own child. Is that very good choice? It's the worst crime you could tell. <laughs> I think, I think this is a very complicated question. Therefore, I say they are cheating in the name of individuals. That you do not understand. Therefore, 34 hours. <laughs> they are cheating you, and you are thinking you are individual. Don't forget the responsibility that comes with freedom. They do not take the responsibility. They go out, they enjoy and go out, and the woman has to take the responsibility. Either kill the child or maintain. Begging. Do you think begging is very good? In India, although their poverty is still, is still they remain, do not remain independent. They remain under the husband, and the husband takes all responsibility. So she has neither to kill the child nor go to beg for maintenance. So which is independence? To remain under husband is independence, or to become free, to be enjoyed by everyone. That's not where freedom is anyway. Huh? That's not where the freedom is. Then. So there is no freedom, still they think there is a freedom. That means under some plea, the men are cheating. So in the name of independence, they agree to be cheated by another class. This is the situation. Um, in spite of that, can a woman know Krishna as... A we have no such distinction. No distinction We give Krishna conscious men both to the woman and man equally. We do not make any such distinction. But to protect them from this exploitation by man, we teach something that you do like this, you do like that. You be married, be settled up. Don't wonder independently. It is. But so far, Krishna consciousness is concerned. We equally distinguish. There is no such thing that, oh, you are woman, less intelligent or more intelligent. Therefore, we cannot. We don't say We welcome woman, man, uh, poor, rich. Everyone. Because that, that in that platform equality. Vidya Vinaya Sampanne, Brahmani, Gavi, Hastini, Sunite, Sapati, Pandita Samadarish. We do not refuse anyone. That is why. 
Um, how do you deal with negativity? In the outside world, um, the devotees encounter negative, negative, um, negativity every day with people that are, are not interested. How, not just on the outside world, but how does that one deal with that within? How does one relieve oneself of that negativism? Negativity is just like we say, no illicit sense. We say, teach our students, no illicit sex. Do you think it is negative? The situation is that um, other people think that it's negative and therefore they feel negatively towards us, so how should we react to that? Or how do you how do you deal with it within yourself, you know? Uh, what do you mean negativity within yourself? No, no, not just criticism, but um, if, if you get a lot of, of people that are working against you all the time, you're, here you're surrounded by people that are positive and that are reinforcing. But when you get yourself in the outside world in a position where there are people that are draining you and taking your energy, how do you replenish that energy? How do you... Um, how do we stay fixed when there are so many people against us? Uh, Good. I don't know how we stay fixed when there are so many people against us. So nobody is against you? You think nobody is against you? I'm asking you. Do I think nobody is against me? Oh, sure there's, there's people for me, against me, that don't care about me. So they are <laughs> against them for us. Why do you bother about the against <laughs> As there are some people against us, there are many people for us. So that is the position in every field of action. So if somebody is against us, why should he bother him? Let us go on with the quality work. If, if, for instance, if the day goes by and, and a devotee meets only with uh, people that are against him, he, he makes bad contacts, and he feels drained, how how does he replenish? Our devotee is not so fickle. <laughs> they, they go to the person who is against us and uh, induces him to practice the law. We are selling books daily, uh, a huge amount. So there is no question of against us. Anyone who is even against us, he is persuaded to purchase one book. So how is against us? He is purchasing one book. What is the daily amount of sales? We sell about 25,000 books and magazines a day. What is the price? Uh, the collection will both be around uh, Thirty-five, forty thousand dollars a day. We're collecting forty thousand dollars a day by sending books. How I can say that against them? Positive. Huh? You're very positive. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Um, my Why is there any other institution who can send forty thousand dollars a day? So how do you say that they are against it? My last question. Um, <coughs> could you tell me about the Hare Krishna mantra because it's so important to Krishna consciousness and I'd like to have your words. Hare means all the energy of God and Krishna means all God. Both of you kind of kindly engage me in your service. Both of you, Krishna has, has, is energy. Just like here we have God, conception of male and female. Similarly, originally, God has his energy. God is man and energy female, prakriti and purusha. The idea of male and female. Where from it comes? 
God is manufactured in so many men and women. So the male and female idea, where from it comes? It comes from God. He is the origin of everything. So the female are prakriti, are energy of God. And God Himself is called Purusha. So we are appealing both God and His energy combined together and gets us in the outside. This is what so, Hare, so the energy of God, O Krishna, O Lord, both of you take care of me and engage me in your life. This is that. Thank you. And uh, I lost I lost some on the way, I guess. Thank you. When I moved into the house, there were these, uh, just came out of the, the earth, and it's so beautiful to see them. Yeah, you, know, you don't know what's in them. The answer? Can I ask you a few questions? Can you please tell me um, a little bit about your life and how, how you knew that you were the spiritual master from Krishna consciousness? I like it. It's simple. I have some sort of I have a state, my wife, my children, my grandchildren. So, my and honor me to go and please his cart to the Western country. I left everything on the order of my Guru and I'm trying to use this word. Um, is this, this picture here the man? Yes, he is my Guru Mahal. And he, um, he's, he's no longer living. No. He spoke to me. He's very happy. I'm losing my time. Um, at what point was it that he told you to do this? What, it was very late in your life? Mm -hmm. It was very late in your life that you... Yes, when, when I was 25 years old, I met him first. On the first meeting, he ordered me to do this. So at that time I was married man. I had... Children, I thought that should be later on, but I was trying to get out of family life. It took some time, but I was trying my best to carry out the order. In 1944, I started managing that to run it, and I was the first. Then I started writing books in 1958 or 59. In this way, in 1955, I came to your country. Um, you have said that you are very small and that you are not God. Appears to me as an outsider that the devotee is treating as the view of God. Yes, yeah. that is the devotee. Just like a government officer. But personally, he is not very really important. But so now he executes government order. He should be respected as non. That is the way. When an ordinary policeman comes, we have to respect him. Because he is God and man. But that does not mean he is God. He is respected. So
चक्षा वृत्तेन समस्त शास्त्री in uh, along the same idea uh, I wonder also about the many material the beautiful material things that the devotees bring to you and for instance when you left the airport you left them with the three bands of car and I wonder about this because that is teaching them how to respect if you respect government man as government then you must treat him like that but if you respect spiritual master as god then you must offer him the facilities of god otherwise how you treat him as god simply in my nature not i'm sorry what the last you said he the spiritual master is treated as god He must show practically show that he is treating as God. So God travels by golden car. In the spiritual master is offered ordinary motor car. So still it is not sufficient <laughs> because he has to be treated like God. What is this motor car for God? <laughs> That's still deficient. <laughs> If God comes to your home, will you bring him an ordinary motor car, an ordinary golden car? You should treat him as God. So your point is that they offer me nice motor car. I say that is not sufficient. Yesterday I met a devotee from New York who said that 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 there were many people present at the festival from other planets, and that you could see them. Is that yeah. true? The one can see. If you have eyes, you can see. But if you have no eyes, therefore you are envious because they have a nice motor car. So you have to make your eyes to see. The blind man cannot see. Yesterday, I met a devotee from New York who said that 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 there were many people present at the festival from other planets, and that you could see them. How to see? Is this true also of your other senses? Every sense. You want to see something, you must pretend that how to see. <coughs> the scientist is seeing something through the microscope, and you want to see with naked eyes. How it is possible? You must adopt the process to see. Then you can see a lot. I have just one more question, and that is uh, also from an outsider's point of view. Um, it, it appears to me that one of the most difficult aspects of Krishna consciousness for someone to accept is in the outsider from that point of view is is the deities, the deities, and the idea that they represent. Did he? Could you talk a little bit about that? Yes. It is better not to, because we are not trained up to see. So Krishna kindly appears before you, as you can see. You can see wood, stone. You cannot see what is spirit. 
when you don't see yourself, you are angry at this body. But you are spirit soul. You are seeing your father and mother daily. And he is everything. The spirit and matter everything. But you cannot see him as spiritual identity. Therefore he has appeared in material so that you can see. He is God. But you cannot see him in his original spiritual form at the present moment. Therefore, out of his unbounded mercy, he has appeared before you just like made of wood and stone, so that you can see. So you are coming daily in our meeting? He is out of form. He is lost. No. He is giving him the best service. Well, we are very pleased with him and uh, know his head. And we thank you for helping him find happiness and serenity, which he was able to find through your order. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and a very good boy. What's amazing to me is where you get the strength to uh, keep the pace that you have. Can you tell me how you do that? I'm so angry if you're a junior and I have a difficult place to do The process is genuine. The process is higher. Recommend and they follow. That it is true. Yeah, saying that our lifestyle will make you have that strength also. I wish it could be right. Just like the physician, he gives you medicine and he gives you the process, the dose, how to take the medicine, how to take the diet. If the patient follows, then he's here. That is the opportunity human life. This process of God realization can be accepted by human beings. It doesn't matter where he is born, either in India or outside India, it doesn't. Any human being can take it. That is the difference between the Animal life and human. The animal, the dog, he knows how to bark on the dog. He cannot be taught about this problem. But a human being can be. He has got that into Every human. So in this human form of life, if we do not take this process, how to become Krishna consciousness? Then he remains dog. Because we are losing the opportunity. What is it Krishna's consciousness has that offers people so much more than other religions? 
This is really a I got to explain really the name to become lover of God. That is really. But there is no love of God. But that is not really. Religion means I have already explained. To know God as you love. So if you do not know what is God, what is the why the question of loving is? So that is not really. It's going on. The name of it. religion means to know God as well. Sakshad, Bhagavat Pranitam, Navai Vidur, Vishayona Sudeva, Nasid Samokya Asura Manusha, Kutonu Vidyadar Charanadaya. It's like law. Law means the process of activity which is given by the God. You cannot make law at home. Is it clear? No, I'm having a problem, language problem, I'm afraid, or hearing both. It says that law means that which is given by the government. You can't make your own law at home. But certainly religion means that which is enunciated by the Lord. You can't make up your own process. Well, I guess I'm missing the point. My question was, well, that's what, all I can. what does the, you know, the Hare Krishna consciousness have to offer that other religions don't have to offer as far as... And this is our money that you, you, have, you want to be religious. So you try to understand religious principles from God. Because if one is lawyer, if, if one wants to become a lawyer, he must learn laws which is given by the God. He cannot become a lawyer at home. Similarly, if you want to become religious, you must learn what is religion from God. You don't manufacture your own religion. That is not religion. This is the first point. But if I do not know what is God, what is the order given by God, then what is it? That is going on. Everyone is manufacturing his own religion. This is the modern method. The religion is private. Anyone can accept any type of religion. That is liberal. Is it not? Yes. Just come in. So do you understand? The idea is that 
this Hare Krishna movement is based on authority uh, of the Vedas and the Vedic literatures are coming directly from Krishna. So we only accept his truth, what Krishna says, and we don't accept anybody's mental concoctions or speculations as being truth. And this is the problem with so many other uh, religious movements today, that they can depend on the interpretation or the uh, philosophy of some ordinary man. <coughs> so this is the primary difference. We don't say anything which is not spoken by God in the Bhagavad Gita. Therefore it is appealing everywhere. Although it is in Sanskrit language, it is there. It is appealing. It's like you could go on the street and is the sign board is kicked to the is right. Keep to the right.